On Snowbiz 24-7 in this episode, I am on the patio of Coffee Society in the heart of the Silong District in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm honored to bring you an up-close and personal interview, which is why we call the segment Ready for Their Close-Up, with one of Thailand's leading transgender activists. Her nickname is K. Bon, but I'm going to say her full name. It's Primprida Pramoj Ayutthaya. Welcome to the show. So what do you have? Uh, I'm very happy that you could join me today for yep. this conversation. It is my pleasure as well. And I want to congratulate you first of all for the many courageous steps that you have taken in your life to honor yourself and to be yourself. So congratulations. I, I'd like to just explore a little bit about your own life when when did you begin to sense that you may be transgender like how old were you when you sort of had an idea maybe around mm, the age of six or seven yeah at that time i felt like a myself is a little bit different from another boy in the same class, something like that, and I may questioning that um, why I have to go into the like a boy scout classroom, something apart from uh, another classroom that uh, a girl, a girl scout go to, things like that, and I feel mm, it's not suitable for me to uh, go into the same class as the boy scout go, things like that. And how old are you now, by the way? Oh, <laughs> 32. You're 32. Oh, you look very young. I say that to everyone, but it's true, you do. You look very young. <laughs> so, that means when you were six years old, was it in the 1980s? Oh my god, I have to calculate. That's okay. Because um, I already think about like a, yeah, it, the it, Thai years. Yeah, it would, have been, it would have been in the 1980s that you were six. So, um... Okay, that's when you first had a sense, and one of the things, one of the things that um, I think people wonder is what what would be the difference between what you experienced feeling different as a transgender person versus what I may have experienced at age six when I was realizing I was gay. Mm -hmm. Is it very similar or is it a different experience? It's a very difficult question because I never knew about the feeling of the gay male before. I never identify myself as a gay male, so... Uh, but if uh, you ask about my conscious, at that time when I realized that I different from another boy, my conscience is feel like a, I feel uh, femininity is deep inside my uh, inner world, something like that. And I feel more comfortable to go into the same group as the girl do. Okay. Yeah. And at what point did you begin to share this with other people? Begin to share. You seems you want to ask about like uh, the coming out point. As a like as that. a transgender person, yeah, mm -hmm. when you would identify yourself to other people uh, as a transgender person. To identify fully, mm, I the first time that I call myself as the transgender, I call myself. I identify myself with the local term Okay. 
and I talked to my friend that oh, I am gonna tell you something like that when uh, I was in the uh, like a study in the grade around 12. Yeah, before that I never identified myself, but people around me get to know that myself is different from another another boy or never think about me as a man, something like that. And uh, how did you how did you come about uh, deciding to live as a woman? And and by the way, is that is that is it? Do you identify do you identify as a woman, or do you identify as a transgendered person? And are those the same to you, or are they different? Identify as the woman and identify as the transgender. Is it same or different? Are, are they the same or are they different? Hmm. Actually, it's a little bit different. At first, I identify myself as the trans, as the transgender. But it means uh, like I really want to be the woman. When I was young, around uh, lower than 17 years old, things like that. And uh, when I explore more and more about the meaning of transgender. And I realized that transgender no need to really want to be the woman. Transgender can be something like a uh, uniquely different from women. This is like a, the mid middle stage that I try to understand the, the meaning of transgender. Okay. And after that, I keep uh, study and learn more about the transgender meaning, things like that. And okay. I know that, oh, Actually, it's really complicated because some group of the transgender might really want, really want to be the woman, and some might never identify themselves as a woman, but strongly identify themselves separate, separate from the uh, woman group. So it seems like they confirm their sexual identity and gender identity as transit, transgender. Okay. Yeah, and but nowadays, I think. For myself, my uh, really close to the one who lived my life as a woman. And what is your profession? What is your job? How do you how do you make your living? Yeah, I'm the researcher. I'm the social researcher. My background is uh, I graduated from the faculty of the like an anthropology. Okay. Now, in in Thailand. Um, it's compulsory for men to serve in the military yep. and the army, but transgendered men are deemed um, mentally ill and therefore they are disqualified. So I know that one of the civil rights issues in Thailand is that transgendered individuals want to eliminate the classification mm -hmm. of mental illness. Yes. Did I state that correctly? Yeah, yeah. And how is that coming along? How is that struggle evolving? Mm. Uh, the struggle. Um, are you making progress in uh, getting the government yep. to eliminate the classification yeah. of mentally ill? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, but in some stage, for example, like we try to eliminate the term mental illness from the uh, army, the army conscript, before the transgender gonna get out from the list of the one who have to do the military service, the uh, army gonna provide transgender one official letter, and uh, the own day previously always mentioned that transgender is the one who uh, like a get mental illness, things like that, because the appearance and the title of the name, something like that, is not fit together. But nowadays, after the activists in Thai society who working on the transgender issues try to negotiate with the, uh, with the army and let them to get to know that it's against the human rights of the transgender. So nowadays, uh, maybe around two weeks ago, the new information provide and circulate all around on the, the uh, on all around the internet 
said that uh, this year, maybe next month, is the season that the uh, military military service gonna recruit uh, people into the army again. But for the transgender, uh, no longer mentioned as the mental illness, but uh, gonna separate to be two type. Type one, it seems like a get ready to go to the army. Type two is the one who undergone uh, breast operation. And the type three is the one who already uh, undergone the sexual operation. Okay. Yeah, so, but uh, like a, it's like a uh, improve, improve the, the uh, environment for transgender to live their life because if they get the new conscript with, without uh, the, the term mental illness, they are possible to apply for the better job before than the previous day. And, and better than the previous day. Um, another issue is that I understand that up until now, the, tran the transgender person who has gone through the sexual reassignment surgery is still not entitled to change their identity card and their passport. Yeah. That they still have to have an idea that uh, an ID that states yep. that they are male or. So any progress in in, in a change in, on that law is still on process because it's quite complicated on these issues. Uh, some, as I mentioned previously, that some transgender, some trans women, really strongly want to be the woman, want to eliminate every evidence that uh, people are gonna get to know that. Uh, that people is uh, like a male to female transgender. They try to eliminate every evidence to refer to the male, uh, anything about male, something like that. That is the first group who really want to be the woman. And the second, the second one, uh, they think like a, no need to uh, transform to be the 100% the woman. So, we need uh, to, to, how to say, bring up the, uh, like a, uh, we need to create the criteria in order to, how to say, to cover, cover all of the transgender women population in Thai society to get benefit. If uh, we change the title of the name only for the one who undergone the operation, so it seems like we ignore the one who don't want to undergo the operation and they might uh, cannot access the full uh, human rights. So basically, if I understand what you're saying, you're you're saying that gender identity yes. is uh, is very different than whether or not someone has gone through a surgery yeah. or bre had breast augmentation. Yes. And that the goal is to have civil rights for everybody based upon how they identify in terms of their gender, yeah. regardless of whether or not they have undergone any physical correct. reassignment. Exactly correct. Okay. What are the, what are the challenges that, we're, that the transgender community is facing now in Thailand? And how can people in the audience be supportive of your uh, challenges? The challenge is to let uh, people in Thai society to get to know that uh, transgender have many image. Because previously the mainstream media always uh, portray about the image of transgender, which is... Uh, A beauty queen. Miss Something Tiffany like that. Universe. And people might uh, put the expectation that if you want to be the trans woman, you have to be the one who are beautiful, and the one who are not beautiful cannot walk really well on the street, something like that. But nowadays, uh, there are many images of transgender, and uh, they show out many kind of ability in many, how to say, many fields of work. So this is a challenging point to let society understand that transgender is not uniquely only uh, 
like a to be transgender is not only as the one who uh, was born as the as a man, but really want to be the woman. But to be transgender is something like a very really, uh, diversity. I understand what you mean. And uh, we would like to let society consider on the ability of the of the transgender people and go beyond the gender identities. Okay. What what do you find most exciting about your life today? What the most in, exciting? The most fulfilling and rewarding. Fulfilling? In your own life. Maybe to let people understand that uh, what I am, something like that. I am the one who differs from another man and please uh, do not consider transgender as a man. And how, how, have, how have your family responded? I never have any problem with my family. And that is the very, like a... All of them are really supportive on me. That's beautiful. That is a, yeah, that is a good gift. I, I imagine you have transgender friends that have had a rejection. By their family, yeah. And how have they coped? How how do they get over the rejection in terms of your friends? This is kind of the background information that uh, society needs to get to know. Maybe uh, society always make questioning that why transgender. Big number of them always work in the like a dark corner of the society, such as sex worker, something like that. But uh, society ignore to understand that some family never try to understand their own children who really want to uh, transform their gender identities. So trans some of transgender have to run away from their own family and have to live their, their life by themselves. So well, sex worker or something that Society might question, make the question upon that gonna be the, the, the carrier of the transgender. But anyway, it have some reason behind. Well, I want to thank you for, for putting your face, your name, your life, and your story uh, uh, to the public about this issue. And I look forward to getting to know you more in the future. And yeah. uh, congratulations. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope that you, along with me, learned something today on this Ready For Your Close-Up segment on SnowBiz 24-7. Uh, thank you again. Kapu ka. Swadi ka. Message of my